Hello! It's 2018 and I'm already being asked what's the best budget build for video editing. Props to Burgess Willis for requesting this. Previous builds I've done for video editing have come in at under or around £200 or $280 for my American audience. I'll try and stick to this even though market forces are currently pushing prices sky high. DDR4 prices are currently a hot topic in the PC building community as they've recently skyrocketed due to ridiculous levels of demand. Because of this, I'm sticking to the old but mighty DDR3 RAM. I realise this will cause controversy for many of you, but there's absolutely no way we will come in at under 300 bucks if we try to use DDR4 in this build. Graphics cards are also ridiculously priced due to market forces. The sooner cryptocurrency miners jog on, the better. Just this week, NVIDIA have fired shots at retailers telling them to put gamers first rather than flogging cards to miners. That's cryptocurrency miners, not children. Anyway, graphics card politics aside, let's get building. I'm going to use eBuyer again this year as they have exceptional customer service along with sensible levels of stock. I've had difficulty sourcing things from Amazon UK in the past, so eBuyer am my go-to retailer for new components. I just want to point out, I'm not getting paid by eBuyer to put this together, but if you're listening eBuyer, send me stuff to review, or invite me along to your offices, I'd love a guided tour. Failing that, send me merch, I will wear a t-shirt. Without further ado, let's start with the case. I've gone for the cheap and cheerful CIT1019 black and silver MIDI case with a nice and beefy 500 watt power supply that comes with it. The chances of it being a proper clean solid 500 watts are slim to none, but for the purposes of this relatively low power demanding build, uh, it'll do the job perfectly. £25.92. pence. Next up, the CPU. I'd love to smash in a nice new Ryzen 5 or 7 or a powerhouse of an Intel CPU, but that's simply not going to happen. It would make the cost of the build skyrocket. Instead, I'm going to go for the old but gold AMD FX4300 3.8 GHz, which is of course a socket AM3 Plus processor, and it has 8 MB of cache and 4 cores. Uh, it's got plenty of grunt for a fairly low price and it's £54.35. pence. RAM next, as previously mentioned, I'm going for DDR3. So we're going to go for the nice and generic 4GB of Zenta DDR3 RAM clocked at 1,333 MHz and measly £25.98. Pence. A great price for 4GB in 2018. For the motherboard, we're getting a lovely ASUS M5A78L-M LX3 MATX motherboard. This is a nice AM3 Plus motherboard with plenty of features to boot, including onboard graphics. For just shy of £50, £48.30 to be exact, you've got the foundations of a nice last-gen AMD machine. Next up, we're going to get plenty of storage to ensure we've got plenty of space for our edits. Specifically, the Toshiba P300 1TB 3.5 inch hard drive. This is a steal at £36.94. pence. Finally, we're going to throw some software into the mix. I realise a few of you complained I missed this out on previous builds. The thing is, you could use Linux, uh, but for argument's sake, we're throwing Windows 10 into the mix on this build. You can pick up a cheap Windows 10 Pro license on eBay for just £3.39. I'll stick a link in the description as to how you get that and all the, uh, the other components I've mentioned from eBuyer. Um, in terms of video editing software, I'd recommend DaVinci Resolve. The free download edition is extremely powerful and it will fulfil the needs of the most demanding YouTube content creators. So, in total, our build is £194.88. 
And we've got a nice entry level quad core video editing PC with software. It's a great price for anyone wanting to get into content creation. Thanks for watching, guys. Let me know what you think in the comments below. I'd also really, really appreciate it if you hit subscribe. I'm currently at risk. Uh, I'm currently at risk of losing the monetization of my videos if I don't get 1,000 subs on my channel. Thanks in advance for your support. If you do subscribe, it'll help me, and it'll also encourage me to make more videos. Over and out.